everybody, what's up, it's Nick here. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to preview audio inside of Adobe After Effects. So if you're new to After Effects, you may be dragging in all of your clips, and your clips might have audio on them. And you're wondering that when you play them back, why aren't you getting any audio when you play back your clips? So it's actually a very, very simple fix for this. If you're a beginner to After Effects, you may have had this problem before, but I'm going to show you three different ways that you can fix this. So to preview your audio in After Effects, you notice if you just press the space bar, you see the video, and you know that there's audio there, but however, you're not getting the audio when you play it back. To get the audio while you're playing back your video, you have to go over here to your preview options, and you have to press the RAM preview button. So if I press RAM preview, this is a test. As you can see, it plays back the video with the audio. But the bad part about using RAM Preview is that it has to render everything in the composition or everything in your little work area right there in order to hear the audio. And I don't want to have to render everything when I want to go here in my audio. And also, if you have your RAM Preview switch over here and you're not getting any audio, then check this little switch right here. If it's set to like this, it means that it's muted. And if it's set to like this, then it means you're going to get audio when you RAM Preview. Now, how do I preview my audio if I don't want to RAM Preview? Well, if you have a number pad on your keyboard, if you press the decimal key or the period key on the number pad on your keyboard, it will play back just the audio itself. So just the audio and not the video. So if I do that, of using kinetic typography, it will basically act like the space bar for the video, but it'll play back in just the audio. Now, what if I want to see the video and the audio working together? Well, without doing RAM preview, there's only one way to do that, and that's with scrubbing back and forth. So as you can see, I'm scrubbing back and forth, and it's just showing the video. But what if I want to preview the audio when I'm doing this, like in any other video editor, such as Final Cut or Premiere Pro? Well, all you have to do is, if you're on a Mac, hold down the Command button, and if you're on a PC, hold down the control button, and then scroll with the playhead. And it will obviously preview the audio, but it will preview it faster or slower depending on the speed of how much you move the playhead. And that's basically it. That is how to preview your audio. Now, also as you can see here, I have my waveforms down here. Now, how do I get those waveforms shown? Well, to do that, whenever you drag in your clip, you just expand it go to expanding audio and then expand waveform and that should show the waveform and there's also a much simpler way of doing that so if I just make a new composition here and I drag in my wave file if you press the L key on your keyboard twice so that's not once but twice it'll just bring up the waveform options right here so you have your waveforms and then apply any of those three techniques that I showed you right there and you should be able to preview your audio now what if you want to export your clip and you want to export your final video with audio in it? Now, I've had a couple people ask this to me over the course of my time using After Effects. I just stumbled over my words there. So to do that, you just add your composition to the render queue. And under the output module, you click on lossless and make sure that audio output is checkmarked. Then click OK and render out your composition, and then you should have your composition rendered out with the audio. So that's how to work with audio in Adobe After Effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.